This is an informational video about the non-toxic printing process known as electroetching. Electroetching is a process that replaces chemical etching in producing an etched copper plate for print reproduction. Electricity in combination with fluids can be harmful and even deadly. You must check with the local electrical safety officer before performing this procedure to ensure that all safety conditions are met. Do not use this technique until you have done so. Proper safety supervision by a qualified adult is also required. The producers of this video warn the users of this technique assume all risk. To do electro etching with copper plates, the following items are necessary. An AC-DC transformer, either with a digital or meter display. A 160 gram per liter solution of copper sulfate. A copper strip measuring about 1 inch by 12 inches. A stainless steel grid, which acts as a cathode. A copper etching plate of any size with matching contact paper. However, any waterproof tape-like material can be used. First, the artist must etch their desired design into a copper plate coated with standard hard ground. The copper strip must be sanded in order to make a good electrical connection. The back of the design plate must also be sanded where the plate will connect with the copper strip. Next, the contact paper is cut to the appropriate size of the copper plate. The backing should be removed and the contact paper should carefully be placed over top of the strip and the plate like demonstrated. The stainless steel grid is placed on one side of the plastic container, completely parallel to the copper plate and copper strip on the other side. The positive, or red, alligator clip connects to the copper strip, while the negative, or black, alligator clip is attached to the stainless steel grid. The AC-DC transformer is then plugged into a GFCI outlet and turned on. The meter should read between 1 and 2 volts. Exact voltage depends on desired depth and effect. If using a transformer with independent adjustable current, some experimentation will be needed. It is advisable to set a timer for the desired amount of time. Time depends on voltage, current, the size of the plate, and desired depth effect. When desired time is up, the transformer is turned off, then unplugged. Carefully remove the alligator clips from both the plate and the grid. The copper plate can be removed and gently rinsed with water to remove any residual copper sulfate. The artist can then check the depth of the lines and return it to the solution if needed.
Once the artist determines that the proper effect has been achieved, the plate is removed from the solution and rinsed with water. The contact paper can be removed and the copper strip set aside. The artist can take off the hard ground with mineral spirits like turpentine or turpenoid. Ink is gently applied to the copper plate and prepared for printing. The copper plate is set on the printing press with damp paper on top. It is then run through the press. The print should be complete. Safety measures to be taken include Using a GFCI electrical outlet Keeping body parts and objects clear of the system while in operation Remember that electricity in combination with fluids can be harmful, so take extra care when the system is electrified. Electro etching is a good process because it allows the artist to have control over the deepness of the etched lines while maintaining a safer environment. The copper sulfate does not need replacing. There are no toxic fumes that come with the solution. The artist is able to connect the wires, turn on the transformer, and wait it out safely. Instead of other etch etching processes that require the artist to stand over an acid bath, electro etching allows the artist to sit back and relax. Electro etching can be considered a wonderful balance between safety and the desired effect. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.